In this video, we're just taking a look at some general techniques you can use when modeling inside of Unity with Umodeler X when looking to create a house layout. I myself have never really tried to model a house using a blueprint image, so I had to kind of think about an approach that would work for me. The goal in most cases when you're approaching these types of things are, you know, what tools are available? You know, what tools are going to produce a simple outcome? How am I going to break down this model when it comes to different sections? There's not really a perfect answer to this as everyone really uh, just kind of does their own thing. But for this blueprint, I decided to start with laying out the outside walls first. The tool I used here was the rectangle tool and the extrude function. I just focused on getting the outside walls and first, don't forget to use some type of avatar or object to help you with scale. Having a character in the scene helps a bit to remind you how wide a door should be or how tall a ceiling should be, that sort of thing. Things like that save you time from having to redo certain things later. You know, after getting the outside of the walls done, I started to decide on the height of the walls and then I started adding the inside areas of the house as well. After getting the general shape of the walls, I started drawing out the window areas using the rectangle tool and then using the push-pull tool. This is by far the easiest way to cut out a hole directly inside of a mesh. So yeah, I just work my way around the structure using these tools, gauging the best way to place the windows, and now subconsciously I know that I plan to change slightly the position or the height of the windows, but these are just general locations at the current moment in my mind. I just don't want to get bogged down with too many details right now. Now there's a very interesting section of the building in front with this curve area. It's basically the living room section of the house. You could approach this a few different ways, but I decided to use the arc line tool and then the follow tool to create the curve. Now to use the follow tool is pretty simple. You just need a line and then a solid face or a polygon, and then you would select the tool, then select the line you plan to follow, then select the face that's following the line, and that's it. Honestly, sometimes I use this tool just to see how it performs and if it's a valid way to achieve the outcome that I'm basically looking for. And for the most part, it seems to work every time. Now I know this video is going pretty fast, but I'll put a link in the description to a video that actually shows you how to use the follow tool in a full details, step by step. Now for this curve, I wanted to add some windows here, so I used the slice tool to make it quick and easy. This actually helped me create loops. Um, very fast, very easy, without much effort. Now I figured it was time to start blocking in appliances and furniture across different areas of the home to better understand the scale, layout, and how the space should feel and how it should come together. So I added in the countertops and maybe, you know, the bathroom areas and the kitchen area, various items like that. So just so I can get a better understanding of how it should look and feel. Now last but not least, I start to come to the end and I begin adding the floor and then adding the rooftop as well. Generally speaking, the floor is really just the silhouette of the home. And in this case, um, you know, I would just best use the curve section to have the same curve as the windows as opposed to having like a straight edge for that area. And I would basically do the same thing to the roof as well. And I'll probably add some stairs later and a few other things, but I think this is a great start. Not too bad for the first time. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this and got something meaningful from it. If you did, please don't hesitate to like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel in regards to the Google algorithm. And of course, if you really enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this approach. Do you have a favorite tool when creating houses in 3D? Do you have a different approach? Would you have done it a different way? Let me know in the comment sections. Well, other than that, I'll see you in the next video.